Doesn't this look scary? <laughs> There's it's probably so many spiders in here. Um, I haven't come in here too much recently because I am so scared of the spiders. Uh, so I think we'll probably have Dexter close because he likes to save me from the spiders. Um, even though spiders are friends in the garden, they, uh, I have something with them. We have a beef. It's funny, as you were saying that, there was a spider like hanging from my hat, from the bill of my hat. Uh, so what we're gonna do is, I'm not quite sure yet. Uh, we have some stuff in here that are perennials and some stuff that's still flowering, some stuff that's still going to seed. So we are going to, I think, start by taking out this stuff that has already gone to seed. I have a couple of bags with me. I have a big bag for big parts. And there's a goddamn spider inside of the- Are you fucking kidding me? I'm telling you, this is why I have a beef with- This is why I don't like spiders, like, it's not- it's, This is why she makes me come, in, come out here. I don't she, know if maybe I was something that ate spiders in a past life. I don't know, but can you see it in there? Tell me if it's coming close to me. I don't even know what you're talking. I don't see. It. Oh yeah, I see it. I see spider web too in the make in the corner of it. Well, but this was. Yeah, here. Let me see. Oh, so it must have been living in the bag. Oh, wait, this came from McDonald's today. No, it's. Oh, that's not the one from last night. No, this came from McDonald's today. Oh, it was from last night. Yeah, that's the one I harvested the seeds in last night. So I I brought it in. Oh, so it made that nest in there overnight. Uh huh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, well, I have some smaller bags in here. I'm gonna release this spider somewhere else in the garden. Um, I have some smaller paper bags in here. For uh, smaller seeds to keep them separated, and we don't eat McDonald's every day. Keep them separated. <laughs> yeah, don't judge us on our McDonald's bag. Uh, we were at the farm for a couple hours last night and didn't get home until uh, eight o'clock. And so, anyway, so I'm going to release this uh, spider, and um, I'm probably going to do a little bit of cutting because there's some status that needs to be cut. Uh, so yeah, let's just get started and figure it out. You want to cut the tops off of these yeah, ones? Yeah, I'm using them too. Here. Okay, well, I'm using them too. Here. Okay, well, here. Here, take the clippers. I was just going to cut these really okay, quick. Here. I'm mostly just pulling weeds, but there's these large squares. It's the next day and we got this all cleaned out. We left some things in here. I transplanted some things. Uh, I know we only got so much on video and it's probably not going to be a very uh, lively video because we were just like pulling weeds and such. But let me show you what I've done. Okay, so we didn't run into too many spiders, thankfully. 
we found a lot of uh, spider webs or like um, uh, nests, but we didn't find any, uh, we didn't really see any spiders. So right here is Dianthus. Uh, over here in front of the Dianthus was straw flower and I moved that to the back beds where I had my atriplex. And we pulled out all the larkspur and all the corn cockle and we left the status. We left some straw flower and we pulled out the Ami Magus from in here in this bed. Oh, and there are some Lysianthus in here as well. I guess we really didn't finish that bed. Ona was on this side. And uh, this bed didn't get completely cleared out. So where I'm where I am at, there was dead bells of Ireland, there was saponaria and and overgrown snapdragons uh, the snapdragons are still behind me we just cut them down um, back behind me the celosia is still there because I'm letting that go to seed uh, right here or I want to say this is sea lavender um, I started it from seed and I got it from Johnny's no I got it from geo seeds and they don't show a picture of what it is in their catalog. So it, they only say a description and I got a couple different statuses. So I think that this is probably sea lavender because these leaves remind me of sea lavender. This never flowered this year. I could have done something wrong in planting it, the timing of the light planting or the amount of light it got that could affect it not flowering this year. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it. I'm not sure if I'm gonna leave it in here or um, I'll probably now that I'm thinking about it, I'll probably let Ona move it out to the back or to the front of the house, into the garden in the front. Uh, behind me, this was anemones and I discovered that the anemones are popping up right now. So I let them, um, I, I didn't pull the anemones out of the bed. I pulled the ranunculus uh, in the late spring, but I left the anemones because they continued to flower. And so I left those in the bed um, and now they are sprouting up again which is actually sooner than I would typically start my anemones and my ranunculus but I think that this is a sign that I can start my ranunculus and anemones now during this time in September mid-September because they're naturally coming up on their own I am hoping that the snapdragon will uh, will flower again uh, late fall after cutting it back um, I should get some really nice stems or at least the next time that it flowers whether it be next spring or this uh, this fall I should get some really nice stems because I cut it down and so I'll get some nice straight stems so here's something else that I uh, discovered this status is growing almost like it's got a like it's uh, like it's got a runner on it so the stems of the flowers that I didn't cut down all of the way to the base of the plant are growing almost a new plant on them. So I'm wondering if this will start to root. I'm gonna keep an eye on it because if it does, then I'm just gonna um, break those off and plant those uh, in here somewhere else. I found that the status done really well in here. It um, was amazing, it got so tall, it was so prolific, it's still flowering. It's been flowering for months, uh, whereas my status that's outside struggled all year long. I'm not sure if uh, if that bed maybe needs heavily amended and composted and maybe the status was just not getting enough nutrients to grow successfully or maybe it wasn't getting enough water. I had suspected that maybe it didn't get enough water and uh, but it's either one of the two. So it's either not getting enough water, they're either not getting enough water or they're not getting enough uh, nutrients. So that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Remember to uh, like and subscribe if you like the video. Subscribe if you like the content we're putting out. All right, thanks. A little tiny one.